Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the difference between show column and the drop column. I did a previous video in the series on collection where I went into greater details on show column. Uh, and I also talked to you about the value. I got some feedback and questions from some of you that although I touched upon difference between show column and drop column, but it was not super clear to them. So I'm making this video for that. To uh, explain to you the setup, uh, I have this button which does a very basic thing, creates a collection in Power Apps. And if you don't know about collection, watch my series on collection. Uh, it does very basic thing, four, three records with four columns, as you can see. And when I preview and run it, you will see that now I have a collection here in the app which has three rows, four columns, title, description, owner, and status, and they have all the values. Now, just to see the value visually in the app, we can do a very simple thing, insert a gallery control. Uh, I sometimes struggle to find where is gallery. Okay, found it. Gallery control. And I'm going to connect this gallery control. I'll, let me just pull it down. I'm change the layout because we only need text so like this and I'm going to change the gallery control to this test collection that we just initiated and it automatically took the description and the owner let's say if you're not happy we will say we want subtitle to be description and the title to be actually the title all right, uh, not the status, but the title. Okay, um, now let's look at these two buttons where all I'm doing is very simple thing on show column. So as I mentioned in the last video, show column takes collection as the input uh, on which you want to apply show column and you specify which columns. Here I've picked one column, but you could pick multiple columns. And the output of this is another collection that using clear collect, you're assigning to the same collection that we initiated here. So same name. Now here's another button. It has very similar syntax. Instead of show columns, it says drop columns. Collection name gives, uh, takes the name of the fields, the columns. You can put multiple columns. So what's the difference? Let's first look into show column. So you, you now see what show column is doing. It's taking this collection and picking one column to show. Based on my prior video, I hope you can understand and predict if I click on this button in the app, what will happen to this gallery? So take a moment to pause this video, think about it, and I'll give you the answer very soon. Okay, hopefully you got some time to pause the video and think about the problem. So I'm going to first show you what happens and then I'll explain. So here I click on this and you notice that description values are gone from the gallery. Why did that happen? So I, as I explained in the previous video with show column, now the output of this is from this collection only the value of this column. So the rest of the columns are in a way dropped or they're not included. And we can also see that when we go to view collections, we can see that all the collection now has those three columns because that's how we created it, but they don't have any value. So they're all empty. Only column that has value is the one that you selected as part of show column, which is title. And that's why this gallery, which was tied to title here and the description here only shows title because description has no value. All right, let's reset this back to initial setup and now try to predict what happens when in the app a user clicks on drop columns. Now drop column, just to explain to you the syntax, it takes the collection and here you pick the specific columns that you want to drop from the collection. So our collection has these four columns and you're dropping just this title. So what, what should happen? The result of this should have these values only in these three remaining columns. 
because we picked only one column to drop. If you pick multiple columns to drop, all those columns will be dropped and only remaining columns will be left. So with that, try to predict what happens. Take a moment to pause the video, think about it, and I'll show you what happens. All right, hopefully you took some time to pause and think about it. But let me first show you what happens and then I'll explain why it happened. So click on drop columns and you notice that the title is gone this time and the description is here. Why did that happen? Because now, like I said, drop column is dropping this column that we selected. We could have selected multiple columns. We can look at the value of the collection and now it has only three columns and the title column is, has empty value. And since this gallery had the title tied to title, which has no value now, and this is tied to description, and description has the value. So hopefully that makes the difference clear. But why do we have both in Power Apps and where are they useful? They accomplish the same goal, so you're right in thinking that. But the way they are different is, in this case, we have a collection only with four columns. Uh, but imagine that you have a collection with 20 columns. And now you want to show only one or two columns. In that case, what will be better, show column or drop column? In that case, show column will be much easier. Let me just reset this. Uh, show column will be much easier. Why? Because you have one or two columns to pick. So no point dropping each and every column. So if you have to pick one or two limited number of columns, show column is great because you can just put limited number of columns and you'll get the efficiency. Like I uh, talked about in my previous video on show column, it's very, very handy when you have data coming from the backend like SharePoint or Common Data Service or SQL or whatever. And if your table has many, many columns for you for your app to be efficient, it's good to pick only those columns that you want to. And if those number of columns are less, then it's better to just explicitly pick some of them. Uh, for example, in this app, I have another collection which is actually coming from SharePoint and look at the number of fields that it has. And if all you need is let's say description and maybe title, you can just say show column title and description and not worry about explicitly dropping these remaining, I don't know how many columns it has, but it seems like 20, 30, whatever. So show column is very efficient in that case. Now, so why do we have drop column? Now drop column is efficient when you have to pick most of the fields, but drop only one or two columns. For example, in our simple collection, this one, there are four columns. If you have to drop only, let's say, owner and you want to show title status and description for drop column all you have to do is just pick this column if you have to do show column you have to explicitly pick these three so it's easier to do in drop column now this collection i understand has only four columns it doesn't seem like a big deal but look at this collection now this collection has so many fields now if you want to have most of them and let's say drop only created and modified what is easier, just picking these two columns to drop or explicitly talking about all these columns in the show column? So in this case, drop column, as you can see, hopefully, is much more efficient. So hopefully, the, the difference between show column and drop column now is more clear. Both of them have very similar purpose, but one is more easy to implement in some scenarios and another one is more easy to implement in some other scenario. But both are very, very useful when you have many columns from your backend and you want to just pick some columns for performance, for efficiency, or just ease of showing those columns in the app. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any question, do leave, leave them as a comment or write to us. And if you need me to create video on any other topic related to Power Apps or Cloud or Data Science, let me know. Happy to create that for you. Thank you. Have a great day. This video was brought to you by Cloud Attica. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. For any questions or help, leave a comment down below or email us at hello at cloudattica.com. Thank you for watching.